It is said, tough times build tough men. Where it seemed tragedy ended hope in the Yukon, a tough farmer rose from the floods in a new land, now fighting to survive the debt on Westby, Wisconsin. This is the story of Farmer Taz. Good morning and welcome back to Surviving the Dead on Westby with me, Farmer Taz. Alright, so we are headed over to where we have the sorghum field. We're going to cultivate it with that nice cultivator right here that we bought. Uh, Pleasant View Farms. We'll get that set up in a second. I think we'll just come right in here get turned around and get to work but we'll be able to harvest corn as well as I believe that is finally in the correct state to go so I mean not quite yet next month I think maybe get this unfolded like I said we'll get this soil cultivated we're gonna plant wheat right behind it probably could direct seed but what I'm going to do is just go with it this way. Uh, this field does need a little bit of cultivation, I believe. Let's uh, take a look at it. Well, it doesn't need plowing, but it's not mulched. So if we come over here, pH ain't too bad. Nitrogen, we're going to end up having to put a good amount of fertilizer down on that. Keep that in mind. Seed rate, low to high. Hmm. You know, some sandy loam, some regular loam. Alright. Let's see what it is. So yeah, like I said, we finally get to put this to use. Get this fired up with a worker. Whoa. Uh, did I put it? Oh, you know what I did? Put it on the wrong setting. You know, course play is a great tool in this game, great mod. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's an operator error. That should hopefully sort it. Let's see if the worker will drop. Yeah, there we go. Worker should be getting the edge pretty well with the field. So we have the other silo set up already for the corn we'll probably get that worker going and we'll back and forth haul I don't think they're gonna make it no nope. there you go might catch the fence no nope. made the turn but yeah uh, something else I want to show you guys. Let's go down to our animal pen. We finally had some calves born. So we had three female Angus and three female limousine out in the pasture. Well, turned out pretty well in our favor because they each calved one. Uh, we ended up with three female limousine calves. One Angus calf female, and then we had two bulls. So the bulls, as you can see, a little pricier already. We're going to let them mature a little bit, and then we will send them off to market. We also have some silage bales that are finally ready. Right now, the pricing get us about 60 something thousand, I think, which is what we probably should technically put in our bank account to hold us through the winter. So that might be my focus in the next couple of seconds is to run over to the truck and start so we can get those to bale sale. 
which let's take a look at which one is the higher one. I mean, we're already here, so might as well take a look, right? Kind of hoping it'd be the one there. It's going to be the one all the way down at the co-op again. All right. So. I'm going to hop out here. We'll run up here through the cornfield. Just flying along. Children of the corn here. Most of you are probably too young to remember that. Uh, we'll get this fired up. Make sure this is also on the first waypoint. Should be firing up. There we go. So we got that working. Shouldn't be any issues in this field. This should be a pretty good track for that to run. I'm trying to get this done before it starts raining. This is our soybean. Definitely close on the growth stage to being ready to harvest. Right now it's still in the forage, but I would say overall shouldn't be a problem. Uh, there's ember. Let's pet ember. Yeah, let's grab the truck, get it fired up. Oh, somebody's already blocked by an object. Uh, not really sure what the object is here. It's only on this map that I get that issue. So we're going to clean the corner up a little bit. Because something down here is throwing off the worker. And then I'm going to tell the worker to go back to work. So, very odd. Got a lot of movable syrup down there right now, too. We got the cedar ready. And let me guess, the worker's blocked by an object again. So... There is a way to take care of this. We're going to go into course play settings, right? We're going to make sure that we have no collisions. Which I don't see anything that would prevent us from that avoid driving in fruit mm, we're good there good there uh, expert modes on oh we should be f i mean we should be fine on everything Really not sure why that's doing that. So maybe what we have to do is get around once. I'd really like to probably update to some new equipment on the harvesting side next year. I know Pleasant has a few gleaners out there. So keeping our eyes on that as well. But we're gonna. I mean, once I get over here, this should be this shouldn't be blocked by an object anymore. Probably gonna miss a little bit of those rows because I ran a little bit wider. Going good. You got the truck fired up. Do 
see if we can make a big enough turn here. I'm just going to back up against these. I was going to keep one row, but I think the best thing for us to do is bring all this to market. We've got so much stock back there. Might as well. Picking up all those other ones. All these uncut. We won't have to worry about this anymore, about running down the road to cut them all. That'll do for now. Bale is not supported. Yep, we're we are aware that bale is not supported. Said we'll get this cut. These are whipping every which way. It might be a little dangerous to be on the stack like this, but we'll make it work. As we always do. There it goes. Now it's steadying out a little bit. Okay, so we got a worker blocked again. Bet you I know which one. Yep, every corner. This might be something after the game updated. Even though, you know, now that I think about it earlier in one of our harvests, it was causing the same issue in the corner. So like right now, if I go give it the green light, let's see what it does. Let's see if maybe that's a solution as we miss a little bit of corn there. Yeah, see, so it does it again on the corner. Like, out of curiosity, I'm wondering if this is going to happen on every corner. Because we do got to be able to haul those bales. I don't have a course set up to run that yet, so that's something we'll have to figure out. But yeah. I'll uh, be right back. Alright, so we've got a field we're going to plant wheat in. Some winter wheat cultivated. So we'll head back to the farm. Uh, one of our workers should be coming back with a truck to load up probably one of the last loads of silage bales. we got sun money in the bank now from those. Uh, the rain is looking like it's on the horizon, so hopefully we can get the corn harvested, done with, before it gets muddy in the field. Uh, I would also like to get this field planted with winter wheat next to us before it gets muddy in the field. But yeah, we've made some progress. I uh, definitely think we need to buy a long grain trailer. I've got one in mind. I think it's like 20 something grand. Uh, looks like our harvester is still finding random objects that are supposedly blocking it. Really not sure about that. As there's no objects out there. Uh, seems the more and more updates on game end seem to affect this map. So I am pondering the idea of moving to a new map, selling everything we have, or taking the equipment we have here and bringing it over there. But I think ideally it may just be better to start over.
or you know kind of play it by that or do you like a used vehicles only so we'll leave this here for now our drivers back good to see Got that off. What we need to do is go figure out why is this one continually getting hung up? This going again and you now it should be pretty soon up and down rows, so it shouldn't be having that blocked issue, one would think. We already brought one green cart worth over to the bin. So we got that going for us, and there he is, blocked object again. I don't have time to keep playing around with that. Uh, like you said, it's more and more little things keep popping up. Uh, you know, maybe it's a mod I've added, but try to really be good about making sure we're not adding bad mods so I'm not really sure if that's it like I said it seems to be more updates which could also be affecting mods you know not really sure but I know when I dig through stuff and I can do some more offline testing but I feel like it's still pretty repetitive Should be good there. I will send this down to be unloaded. 28 bales. Yep. So. You'll get to work on that. And we will fire this up and take care of this corner that it couldn't do. Now, the other thing we need to get going, get to it. No course here. We need to get this planting our winter wheat. That is a key focus. Like I said, as much as I want to go on on this map, you know, we really haven't got much for livestock going. So I think ideally, I think we're going to have to search around and find a new map. So this will probably be the last episode of Surviving the Dead on this map. But like I said, I will transfer it over to a new map, new challenge. Uh, maybe I take a picture of our equipment and that's what we go to. Uh, there we go. We got that. All that looks good. Generate course. I don't like the way that's looking. Uh, yeah, not a fan of... It going that way. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. So what if I go four headlands? No, that didn't change it either. Well, that's also not the case. There we go. Cleaned up the field margin a little bit. Oh, you know what? Up down. There we go. Now. No, that did not do it either. Oh. 
Longest edge. We didn't just freeze the game. There we go. See, that's what it should look like right there. We got a first waypoint. We got wheat. Let's get it planning. Go over and deal with this mess of a uh, operation over here. Said it should be going up down rows pretty soon, which will hopefully you know, take care of some of this issue. It's only on corners, and it, it's this harvester. It's blocked by an object every time it's harvesting. Should be up down now. This guy is almost here. He said we'll unload this last run of bales and then we'll take some look at some trailers. Because we will sell off what we have and get our values for it. And look, oh, an object, not surprised. A little right turn here. There we go, up to 68,000. I like it, I can work with it. We'll get this back to the farm. Oh, this guy's stuck. Did first waypoint. Why is he so far off? It's a weird course play track. I guess we'll go with it. Did I set the insides first? This guy driving me nuts. Actually, you know what? He's full. So we'll run the cart over and work on that now. But yeah, as much as I've enjoyed Wispy, I think it's time for us to move on. So, I've had some fun trying to revive this series, get some things out of it. It's just unfortunate that it just seems to have more and more little complications. Like I said, there could be so many variables. I try to look through the mods to make sure it's not the mods. Uh, ideally, I don't think it's down deep a map issue, unless the map needs like to be updated to match stuff with the current Giants updates, but I try to go in and, you know, see what it is and to no avail, but yeah, I think ideally 
I've noticed too there's like a haziness on this map for graphics too now compared to other maps so we can only do so much on our end and I think that's where we're going to kind of leave it we know we got 68,000 there we'll see what we get off these two fields I should say the soybean and the corn and I think that'll be the final episode of Survive the Debt of Noisby, and I think we'll move on to a a new challenge. Maybe still Survive the Debt, but just on a different one. Alright, I think that'll do it for now. See y'all later.